Hey guys, I'm going to try to show you my 6R80 transmission adapter came in the mail the other day. There we go. So it's top of the bell housing, starter on this end down here. I'll show you guys real quick on a small block Ford. It goes this way. So the idea is the starter goes here, you still have your dowels that line it up, upper bolts, mid bolts, lower bolts. Um, so I'll show you how this, this sits on the transmission itself. It's a really net fit. This thing got machine or laser cut pretty well. Alright. Oh, let's see here. How am I gonna do this? Mm. Okay, goes there. This guy. Down here. This guy up here. So obviously these aren't 100% the right bolts, but close enough to kind of show what's going on. That one's not a hole. That one's not one, but this one is over here. There you go. So, the idea... The idea is this amount of aluminum needs to get removed. This bolt down here just kind of helps support the starter to make sure that uh, this piece doesn't flex around. So I did screw up when I designed this. I didn't realize this radius here. I, I just didn't do it correctly. I should have pulled a straight edge. Should have pulled a straight edge from here to here and then found the tangent. <coughs> and got the uh, the distance from the center of the hole out to this edge. So on here, when you go to put the starter on, there's a big gap. Um, I just didn't, I didn't do it correctly. Hey, so I'll show you guys real quick. I screwed up on the starter placement, but it'd probably work as is. Maybe not 100% like you want it, but it would probably work nonetheless. So you can see here, I didn't set this radius up correctly to where the starter bolts are. Um, I got a little carried away. I never did check it. I should have ran a straight edge across and then pulled pulled the uh, tangent to the line, pulled it out, and got that lip there. Because I think with the Ford, um, what gives the starter its rigidity, its rigidness, is the fact that the bell housing captures this radius on the lip of the starter. So that was my bad. But I had to modify this corner just a touch to get the starter in to show you this. But uh, yeah, this is what a starter looks like. Mounted in a car without a bell housing on it on a Ford. So uh, it's pretty neat. But yeah, you can see how all the all the holes line up really nice. Um, they need to be drilled out because they're touch too small. But I think I did that on purpose. So the idea is I'll I'll uh, sort out what the holes need to be size-wise, and then um, I'll modify the next one, I'll the the drawing for the next one, and uh, so forth. But yeah, I mean it's on there. Uh, it's not tight, tight, <coughs> but it's on there. So yeah, there we go.